Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're looking at a new Citizen Promaster Diver, this one coming in green for 2021. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive into this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end. And then throughout this video, if you have any further questions, check out the link in the description of the product page where you can learn more, purchase the watch, and book a time with one of our dedicated watch specialists as well to help you with your purchase. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. When looking at Citizen's collection and trying to find that intersection between build quality and value, I think you have to look at the Citizen Promaster collection, specifically though, the Promaster Divers. Now, the watch we're gonna be looking at here today is a new iteration on a long-standing design style within Citizen's collection with the Citizen Promaster Diver 42 millimeter, this one coming with a green bezel. Delivering all the same upside with this ISO compliant dive watch that also doesn't break the bank in a new color format. So taking a look at this watch on the wrist, we have a case size of 43.8 millimeters, a thickness of 11.5 millimeters, and a lug to lug of 49.1 millimeters. Now on the surface, you see that case size of just south of 44 millimeters and probably think this is going to be a huge watch that most people can pull off. But that really isn't necessarily going to tell the full story. This watch wears closer to a 41 and a half to 42 millimeter case, given the more condensed lug to lug dimension. It's also gonna wear pretty flat to the wrist considering it's going to have a uh, eco drive movement on the inside, which is going to greatly assist in that area. And then another point of emphasis when talking about wear with this piece is going to just be the general weight. Now, the competition in this range is mostly gonna come from other Japanese brands like an Orient or Seiko and those are going to be housing uh, automatic or mechanical movements on the inside. And with that being the case, it's going to add substantially to the weight of the watch. For this one, you're getting a lot of the upsides that comes with the durability of a nice, uh, nicely constructed dive watch but also combining that with a more lightweight feel on the wrist that doesn't have that hefty presence that many dive watches can have. Strap options will also certainly affect how this watch will wear, but I would say this can be worn by a wide variety of wrists and wears much smaller than what the case size is going to indicate. The case is presented with a soft satin brush finish across all the visible surfaces with soft edges along the lugs and down through the bottom edge of the case. The screw down crown is the elements of the case that features a polished finish on the top surface. It does feature an embossed Promaster emblem on the far side. It's flanked on both sides by crown guards for added reassurance and safety. And the crown is placed at the four o'clock rather than the traditional three o'clock to help with any contorting of the wrist uh, to not have that crown really dig into the back of the hand. Crown procedure is very basic from there. Unscrew the crown to the first position. You then will be able to access that unlock position. Second position then would be able to adjust that date. And the farthest pulled out point, you then can adjust the time with the second hand stopping in the process. When fully screwed in, the Promaster is water resistant and ISO 6425 compliant to 200 meters of water resistance. Situated at the top of the case is a black PVD rotating bezel with a glossy green aluminum insert that rotates 60 clicks in one direction with a very solid feel. There's subtle play with the bezel as it rotates and it's very easy to grab a hold of with the help of those notches along the outside. For some, the PVD might be a point of contention or seen as a drawback if you like more traditional non-coated steel cases, but in terms of just the visual visual execution of the bezel, I think it pairs well with the green insert, which I had to compare to another green bezel in terms of its color is kind of those old school aluminum uh, Kermit bezels that you would find on those old Rolexes. As for the attached strap, we have a classic Citizen rubber diving strap installed between 20 millimeter lugs. Unlike the straps on previous ProMasters uh, that we've reviewed in the past, this strap does not feature the no decompression time limits printing on it. I think it actually opens up the piece to a broader audience and moves away from the hardcore diving presentation of the previous reviewed models. It also appears to have a slightly thinner presence when strapping this one on, but overall I think it's quite solid for a watch in this two to three hundred dollar range. Now transitioning back over to the front of the watch, we have a flat and flush mineral crystal that provides a clear view of the matte black dial below. Now the choice of a mineral crystal over a sapphire is always a point of emphasis whenever looking at these Citizen watches. I think for some when it comes to the visibility and not having to deal with uh, treatments to uh, reflective coatings and things of that sort, uh, that does 
help when you're going uh, this direction rather than sapphire. But I think the inherent improvements that come with the scratch resistance of a sapphire crystal might be more useful for some out there. Now, focusing on the dial, this is the latest design iteration, which consists of the matte black dial surface with large trapezoidal and circular hour markers all the way around. Each marker contains large swaths of high-grade loom, which is also found in the appropriately sized handset found at the center of the dial. Unlike other variants, this green bezel version doesn't feature the signature orange minute arrow hand. Rather, this one is trimmed in white. Glowing bright blue and consistent across each dial element, the loom used by Citizen here is some of the very best in the price range. Outside of the large hands and hour markers, the dial's remaining elements include a bordered date window, which aligns with the four o'clock crown, as well as the Citizen logo printed in the top half of the dial and text referencing the EcoDrive movement and water-resistant capabilities of the timepiece. Now turning the watch over, we find a solid screw-down case back covering up the EcoDrive movement within. The case back itself is rather plain in terms of its execution, but the movement inside is really all about utility. Uh, and I think that really is all that matters here as you flip this thing around. Now the EcoDrive caliber that we have here is the E168. And EcoDrive as a technology is incredibly useful when you're talking about just set it and forget it type of peace of mind for a wearer. And in a lot of ways, and honestly you probably say in almost every way, makes more logical sense than a mechanical movement. Now the upside that comes with a EcoDrive caliber is combining the quartz oscillation of a traditional quartz watch without the need for an external battery that needs to be replaced over and over again, harnessing the power of solar energy to send that electrical charge to the quartz oscillator in order for it to vibrate. These can be charged both with natural and artificial light. And in terms of accuracy, you're looking at plus or minus 15 seconds a month on these. So great accuracy overall. One point of note that might bother some people is just like any quartz oscillating movement, you are going to have the chances of the second hand not perfectly aligning with the markers. That's just one of the unfortunate realities that can come with some of these affordable quartz watches. And although anecdotal, I've heard some great stories about EcoDrive movements and how they can last for years and years, if not decades, before having to worry about them at all. There is a capacitor inside here that will need to be replaced at some point. Uh, but in terms of offering a ton of peace of mind in this attainable range, I think EcoDrive really positions itself as a unique light. So to finally unpack, looking at the Citizen Promaster Diver 42 millimeter with this green bezel. Now, when many people consider Citizen, I think it comes as kind of a bifurcated view. On one side, you have a lot of the department store watches that I think are not going to be towards the enthusiast or the professional that maybe wants to have a watch uh, on their wrist. But then on the other side, you have something like this, a watch that is absolutely a tool and a professionally built timepiece that will be able to take a beating in its ISO compliance. And I think at the end of the day, this is where I think Citizen really does, again, intersect between quality and value. And you're talking about two to $300 watch. I think this is a great position within the market. You have the affordability, you have the design, the luminescence and just general visibility as well as legibility is there. And then you also have the diving reputation. If you look at divers and see what they have on their wrists, many of them are going to be fans of Citizen. I think the size could size some people out. It is going to wear smaller than what that case size might indicate. The PVD might not be uh, the choice for some people out there. They might like the more traditional stainless steel options completely uh, that you can find with some other color variations. And I think, again, the challenge with Citizen at times is just that they have so many different watches. They do things that are not going to be for the enthusiasts and are, I would say are as great as other things that they're doing. Uh, but this is when the brand, I think, is at their best in this kind of attainable tier and just delivering a no-nonsense, ISO-compliant dive watch that is really hard to beat for the price range that creates a lot of just peace of mind with its wear with the EcoDrive caliber on the inside. All right, guys. Well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That really does help out the channel. Also, if you're in the market for this watch and you like what you saw here today, definitely check it out. It's available on teddybaldasar.com, full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support. We also offer price match. So if you see one of our products for cheaper at another authorized dealer, fill out the form and we'll get in touch with you. Also, all of our products come with a full factory warranty. So you're completely covered if something goes wrong. Uh, you don't have that cost on your head. And finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back in the content we're creating here, as well as on our main channel, helping to foster up a new generation of watch enthusiasts in the process. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.